And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some Fallout 76 here. Now I've seen the bad reviews regarding Fallout 76. I've played Fallout New Vegas, I've played Fallout 3, I've played Fallout 4, I definitely have to replay that and put it down on the channel for you guys to witness, you know, the gameplay of that. Um, I figured, you know what, I'll go try Fallout 76. I'll tell you what I'm liking and what I'm not liking. I will tell you right now what I didn't like when I got the game downloaded and installed my computer here is the user interface. So what did I not like about the user interface? Well, if you're trying to play it off of Steam, you have got to dis disable your controls and then re-enable them. And if that doesn't work, you've got to unplug your keyboard or mouse. And if that doesn't work, you physically got to re-download the game and go for that process again. That's what I didn't like. It took away from the player's experience of wanting to play a game. The whole point of playing a game is load up the game, not have to troubleshoot for all this unnecessary crap, and, you know, just play it and have fun. That was not fun. <laughs> uh, the other thing I don't really like about online gaming is you buy the user interface, but let's say Bethesda says, oh, we don't want to maintain these servers anymore. You lose the ability to play the game. Uh... You see the point here. Anyways. Let's get into playing some more Fallout 76. See what happens. You'll get to hear it directly from me. What I'm liking and what I'm not liking. Anyways, let me get to my game audio master here. And turn it all the way back up. Alrighty. Let's get into it. Um... So this is the first time of me playing Fallout 76. First time. accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America. So that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Good morning, 
Vault 76. This is the over. Damn, who turned on the lights? That shit's bright. Stop it. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night. <laughs> Even those who may have overindulged and overslept. What do you mean overindulged? I just got hung over. It's fine. But it's time to get up and get out there. But I don't want to go outside. It's scary out there. I got some fugly at character models here. Maybe time to leave. What happened? Did someone stick the damn character model in the blender? You come from every Jesus. walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very Kinda like Fallout 4, people are making fun of the uh, character model of the baby in the crib. That's one ugly baby. <laughs> All right, I, I guess I'm going to choose. See if I can find it again. So I'm choosing this one. Okay. Ew. I'll just go with the. I'm pretty sure later in the game you can change the hairstyles and stuff, but. Mm. Ah, missed it again. Where do you go? Damn it. <laughs> we'll go with this one, that works. Okay, body. Let's just do thin. All right, good enough. Yeah, Dark Angel. <laughs> Close enough. All right. So I'm already not liking that it doesn't physically say, okay, this is the, like, how can I say it in a better way? Um, okay, go like, hey, this is the new vault, but this doesn't explain, like, a commentary point, like, you see in Fallout 4, or in Fallout 3, or Fallout New Vegas. There's no commentary of how you got there. Um, the other thing I don't like is if we really look at the character models, they're in Fallout 76 here. And you look at Fallout 3, character models are perfect, they didn't look fugly, they, you know, didn't look like they are rushed. Uh, when you compare Fallout 4 with Fallout 76, you'll see where of what I mean. What the hell happened? Like, who sculpted this shit? I'm really hoping that Fallout 76 is going to be like Dying Light 2, where you can play campaign with friends. That would have been the better way to go anyways. And when people just start focusing on PvP and action, that's when that game just no longer really worth playing anymore. Look at what happened to Halo. Originally it was supposed to be a campaign game that the developers, new guys, focused on PvP and action and less about the campaign. And now it's become a cancer. Oh no, I knocked this over. Eh. I wonder if I have my abilities where I can pick stuff up. Find out. Nope. Found third person. Nothing less than the rebuilding of America. 
Got a jukebox there. I don't need a copyright strike, so I'm just gonna keep on going. Just know that Voltec is proud of you. Uh, one of the things about YouTube is if you didn't mean to play a piece of music that's got copyright on it, then, you know, no big deal. But if you intentionally did it, then it's a problem. My own mission. Out there in Appalachia. I want to go there. I want the sugar bombs, man. This is the overseer. Yeah. Signing off. I just got one of those feelings that I'm not gonna like Fallout 76. I don't know why. Hello. At last, today is your reclamation day. Hmm. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. It is endearing to hear how wonderful a job myself and the others have done maintaining the vault for these many months. But the food's all run out, and it's time to take what you've learned and use it. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. I guess Just get cracking! Wakey, wakey! Eggs and biggie! All the one. Stay fed, stay hydrated. Very Alright, let's grab some crap. Unfortunately, the one th another thing I'm not liking is you can't just grab anything in the vault. You physically have to just grab what's on the table here, which I don't like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to have a party hat. This is how you make your camp. Final flash ground. Drop your camp, use resources, and build. Survive and strive. Um, so, from what I heard regarding Fallout 76 here, you can physically build a camp. However, other people can use the nuke silo to nuke your camp, apparently. Yeah, let's do charisma. And you are on a team gain this much. No. Here that I can pick up. That'd be great. Oh boy. One line legs. It's gonna give me XP if I guess this correctly. So it's got a E and S. And of course, there's no paper here to physically tell me what it could be. Oh well. Goodbye! Aloha! Ciao! Shish! I am O'Neill! Where's the army?
That character looks so thrilled to be pushed into the wasteland. untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Be careful out there, Mum. Hmm. I don't know. I was just getting that player experience that doesn't feel very welcoming. I don't know. Maybe. Wait, a vault dweller? Hey there! Whoa, whoa! Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? My partner and I need a way into that vault. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the, you know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. Wayward is what passes for civilization in these parts. It's got people and booze. Eh, a pretty good place to get information, too. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. Well, yeah, there was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know it was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But... Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. 
We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down, in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. Yeah, that's never good. Watch yourself out there. Alrighty. So it looks like I'm going to be heading here. I'm going to go here first, though. Reason? I want to see if I can get more supplies. These are, but I'll grab them anyways. Hey, look, it's a camp of some sort. up is hard work. I'm glad that I haven't changed much. Not enough people nowadays value the importance of a well-crafted meal. Sports of the ferals don't get you. Yeah, the same to die. Uh. I'm just gonna take your stop. Ooh. It's hard work making a living out here. Gotta keep our fellow brothers and sisters well fed. There's nothing here. It's just about time to eat. So I gotta find shops to buy stuff from, like, there's still a lot of stuff to do. Okay, so you go over there, I'm just gonna sneak in through here. Good luck for stuff. Take a look at this. I'm um, using pistol bullets. Yeah, 
Chris Well. Look like there's anything up there. Alrighty. Looks like we're moving it on. And it looks like there's quite a few people in this area. Dot I mean these are active players as far as I can tell. Yeah, that's the only thing I fear when getting a game like Fallout 76 is as soon as they decide to go, ah, we don't want to maintain or keep the servers going anymore, they just cut it loose. That's why I don't really do online games. I mean, Ross fine, because we know they're going to keep that going, but you just kind of see the point I make here. It's a mutated squirrel, it's not trying to attack me, all right. <sighs> Don't mind me, just getting a bunch of Useless crap. Oh, the fuck is that? I need aluminum. Or, uh, no, I need the, um, it's delayed. Over here plowing the field, nuke goes off and got gays. Oh crap. Thank you for pistol rounds, I really need those. Ow. Clear this building first. Why am I here in the like kitty cat?
What way to go? You've got all this green shit growing here. Hey, it's Kit Kat. Stash box at your camp to store excessive items. I got too much stuff. Definitely not what I was expecting. I guess I could say that much. Should help. Definitely have to experiment with the whole idea of putting down a camp. Definitely. Uh, craft a weapon, craft a piece of armor. Learning. Craft a piece of armor.
Hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to do the camp thing though. Too bad there's no like search bar like to make life easier. No. I don't know. I'll just have to figure out as I go. Lady, I will paint the Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey! Who the hell are you? None of your damn business. What's going on is that this one seems to think I know where this big treasure is and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. And I will happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Treasure's our crew's business, not yours. And unless I start getting answers right now, I'm gonna start shooting people. Hiring? You serious? You got a gun in your face and the first thing that comes to mind is picking up a side gig? Hmm. Guts like that might take you places. Let's say you and I finish shaking down this broad and then... I told you it was gonna end badly. Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Not impressed. If you look at the facial lines, you can tell that it's pixelation that you see right here. That it's like a line and then it goes downwards. Not very impressed in the character face model right now. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budden business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Fifty caps if you can get the job done. That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs?
Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And I think I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. Just to... I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? You vault boys and girls carry yourselves different like you matter. Plus, your pit boy was a dead giveaway, but that's beside the point. You think you can work from these schematics? That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything, but I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts, but I can spot you some workbench materials too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? I know, someone's about to drop a nuke. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. I really hope they're not doing this <laughs> no, area. I haven't seen her, but I have heard her. My people found a tape just on the other side of the road that it seems she left behind for one of her dwellers. Though it's a bit out of date now. Maybe it was waiting there for you. Happy to give it to you. So long as you're still willing to help us. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. Glad to hear vault -Tec actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about him just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now. Because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm going to help you, I want something in return. All right, listen, I got this plan. You're going to help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now, this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. 
All I'm asking is you give him a listen and let me know what you think. You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken him out for a test drive. Now, there anything else you wanted to chat about? Some other time then. Supposedly something got nuked. Something called touchdown got nuked. Yeah, right here. Someone intentionally blew this area up. It's already in it's terrible things over there. I'm guessing it was this guy. Two hundred sixty-five. Holy shit! But yeah, it's definitely a funky looking map. It will say that much. Uh, it looks like there's an amusement park over here. I'll have to find a place to put down a camp. I gotta figure out how to do a camp too. All right. Uh, read the plan, train treasure hunting script. Da -da. Build a weapon workbench at your camp. Da -da. Okay. Level three already. <laughs> I have a feeling trying to level up on Fallout 76 is going to be rough. I'll definitely play Fallout 4 on here. It's just going to take me a hot minute. I'm pretty sure a lot of the mods don't work anymore. So. I want to put a camp right here. So how do I do that? Um, oh. Can I just put this anywhere? Going out of the side of the roof then. It's not exactly flat, but it'll work.
I can always get more. Control, Alt. Learning. I need more wood. Alrighty. It's all right so far, experience. It's not great. So I put it this way, it's too different from the previous games that we played, basically. gonna make me pay money to unlock a wall. So basically, Fallout 76 basically beta win unless you go farm blueprints, basically. Great. That's exactly what I want to play. That's what it seems like. And 
And you can buy all these. Like, really? Or I had a feeling that I'm not gonna like Fallout 76. Unlocking the atomic shop. Uh, is there any other way to unlock it? Because I'd rather not pay to win. My personal opinion anyone that's going to sit there, make a game where you've got to pay money to get something that's required in order to make a settlement, period, is not worth playing. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. If I... If it continues doing well, I'll keep going with it. If it doesn't, hey, we tried. It's wood. Anyways, thank you guys for joining us. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button, and we'll see how far I go with this. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.